Hi guys, Robbie 46 here, welcome back to MotoGP 14. In the last race we're at Hareth and I managed to get another win. This time we're racing at Le Mans in France and I put the difficulty back up to realistic. So let's see what happens, I'm on pole and let's go. Oh, Rabat is there straight away. He's the Go away. There we go. This is going to be quite a difficult race. Oh. Cut that corner a bit too much there. Got a warning. One more of them and I'm disqualified. Like I said, it's back on realistic difficulty. I'm not expecting it to be easy at all. Nope. I think I've got to keep it on realistic difficulty from now on because hard was just getting a bit too easy for me. Oh, lost the lead. Can we get it back? Yes, we can. This corner could be tricky sometimes if it went in a bit too quick. Yeah, he's come straight back at me. But this next couple of corners is my favourite part of the track. Nice flowing S's. Gone a little bit too deep there. Half second lead now. Oh, way too wide. Bit of a sloppy first lap. to do better on the second lap. Okay, here we go. Must have got out the uh, last corner better than him. Oh, you have to go careful there because if you take the curb too much, you can crash. They're not letting up. Now let's see if we can pull away. It's almost a second. Here we go. Tyres are looking good. Point six of a second they've closed up. This corner's annoying. I've gone wide again. Should get better drive onto this straight. They're right there. And try not to go too deep into this one now. A little bit too much. That was a better exit. This corner is a lot better. I didn't go too wide. Okay, so we've got one more lap to see if we can hold the lead. Just over a second. A lot closer than what it would have been on hard. Like I said, hard was getting a bit too easy for me. Oh, the bat's just crashed. Little bit wide there, just cut it back slightly. One point three over Calio now. Oh Let's see if we can actually get this perfect this time. No, gone wide again. Never mind. Split time, 1.7. It's not a massive gap. Got wide on this corner, they're going to close in. It's 
quite a sloppy race to be honest. I made quite a few mistakes. But nevertheless, it's going to be a win on Realistic in Moto 2. Fourth win in the row. While we wait for the so we're back actually got seventh race, after crashing. 1.6. So it was back to second. 125 points. Got 44 point lead over Vinales. And Kallax leading by a big margin. Up to level 75. A load more fans. And see if uh, Gavin Emmett is going to say any rhyming. Probably. understand his delight at this result it's not just about winning at this circuit but he's beaten riders of proven talent no rhyming today so there we are mate two unrealistic a win I'm gonna keep it unrealistic from now on and then see how that goes but I'm not going to turn it down to hard again because I know that that will be too easy. So realistic is where it's staying. Lorenzo won MotoGP. And it's frozen. Okay, it's stuck. I don't know what the hell it's doing. Well, the guys are still moving in the background. Oh, there we go. Anyway, guys, next race is at Magello. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and I shall see you guys in the next race. See you.